I'm Robin Higgins, and this is State the Function of the Nucleus. So let's look at a typical atom of helium to kind of figure out what we're talking about when we mean the nucleus. So um, this is our nucleus of our helium atom, and helium's atomic number is two, which means that it has two protons, positively charged, and two neutrons, no charge. And also, circling around the nucleus, are two electrons, both with a negative charge. So this is what our typical helium atom looks like, uh, and its nucleus is right in the center. So the function of it is to really be the center of the atom, and it's also the most dense um, by quite a bit. Uh, and it was discovered in 1911 by Ernest Rutherford. And he actually discovered the nucleus by uh, doing an experiment with gold foil that proved that the center of it was extremely dense. Uh, and then the rest, everything else out here is just the electron cloud, um, and it's much, much, much less dense, does not weigh as much. Um, and so this is our basic nucleus. It just has the protons, the neutrons, most of the mass, most of the density, um, and it provides a center for the electron cloud. Um, and so just to kind of review really quickly also, we're not talking about a cell nucleus. So a cell nucleus is completely different. A cell is much, much, much bigger than an atom. Um, and so if this is our typical cell, this would be our nucleus right here. And uh, the job of a cell nucleus is to store the DNA. And also it's kind of the control center of the cell. It regulates what the rest of the parts of the cell are doing. So it's completely different. Atomic nucleus, cell nucleus. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been State the Function of the Nucleus.